Yo. Elon Musk may actually just be building a hole that this time is too deep to get out of. Elon Musk has been hinting a lot at the truth. And if you guys remember, just a few weeks back he stated on Twitter, if I die under mysterious circumstances, it's been nice knowing you. And then for him to come back not even a week later and say a claim like this on Twitter, I think Elon trying to let us know something. And if you guys aren't aware of what Elon is talking about in this tweet, let me give y'all a quick overview. So if y'all remember during the end of Trump's presidential campaign, speculations of things like tax fraud, tensions between North Korea, and even about him having a failed presidential term as well. All of that information there was used to lie by a Clinton campaign lawyer to the FBI. Just like the information they got out about Trump's campaign chairman, Manafort. So after the world hearing his news about Trump's presidential campaign, he was already scheduled to go to Vietnam to meet North Korea dictator Kim Jong-un. Yes, he was persuaded by this campaign to go, even though we already had rising tensions with North Korea and Russia. Before attending this interview with Kim Jong-un that they set up, the Trump administration decided to ask the Kremlin, aka the Citadel of Russia, for advice. I reckon he took the advice that they gave and then proceeded to go along and have this meeting with Kim Jong-un. And after this interview with Kim Jong-un, Russia state TV criticized, laughed, and humiliated Trump, saying that he would equalize his approach to a dictator. That he would even talk to him and deal with him as if he's a regular person. And while they bash Trump, they also praised Kim Jong-un for getting a negotiation or a talk with the United States president and seen as an equal throughout this negotiation. There is much, much, much more than where that came from. But yes, the Clinton campaign created this whole hoax about Trump and Russia, and Elon seen right through it. So what could be next? A lot of y'all said that he could be part of the 1%, or he could just be trolling or playing his part. Well, right here, he definitely doing his best impersonation of someone who wants the best for people on this planet. And if I'm honest, I'm scratching my head too. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments.